Hey what's up YouTube, this is 17 Chris Jenkins here, and I'm back with another Pokemon Battle video. Now, if you've seen one of my past videos, you'll recognize this guy, and that's Matthias. If you saw the video where I battled him last, he absolutely demolished my team with his Volcarona Ramoth. And so this time, I knew he was bringing a Volcarona. Like, I was expecting that. And so I was trying to bring the best of the best, some of my most powerful Pokemon, and some that I thought were kind of fun to use. And so, like I, like I said in the last video, he loves bug types. That is his favorite type, and he uses them very, very well. And so, this time, instead of having Gliscor and Omastar, he had an all-bug type team. Um, he's got Pinsir, which is Mega Pinsir, Scizor, which will definitely surprise you, um, Armaldo, Venomoth, Aselgore, and his prized Ramoth the Volcarona. And so, on my team, I have Jumpluff. This is... um. I called her Pom Poms, but I've renicknamed her Powder Puff, the Jump Luff, um, my Swords Dance Sleep Powder, um, Acrobatic Seed Bomb set, my Noivern, um, this is Alexa, she runs the Choice Specs, Zendaya the Dermanitan, I think she's been in some other videos, Mandy the Mandibuzz, great knockoff, roost, taunt, um, defog, just great for just trolling people, um, Baragon the Needy King, Great Special Attacker, Cheer Force Life Orb, Deadly Combo. And then Incubator, the Chansey, who you saw in my last video. But yeah, this was so much better than our last battle because I didn't get utterly stomped. I actually had a chance. I took down two of his key threats um, at the beginning of the match. That's the thing. You can never underestimate Pokemon that you don't see as much and that you don't see as a threat because they can quickly become a threat, as you're going to see in this battle. So let's get this battle started. All right. And so, yeah, it has been a good while since I've been able to battle Matthias. I mean, I'll see him every once in a while on my friends list on the um, when I get on the GTS and on Wi-Fi at my church and stuff. But I never really get to battle him because I'm always busy. And so, go ahead and set up Swords Dance because I know either way, whether he sets up Quiver Dance or he goes to use his Fiery Dance, unless I get burned, I'm going to be able to hit him with an Acrobatics. And I know this thing doesn't run the Focus Sash. I know it runs the Charty Berry, not Charty Berry, um, Weakness Policy. And so... Yeah, he uses Fiery Dance, but now he's faster because, of course, he has the thing up. But I also have Swords Dance up, so now I'm at, like, well over, like, I think 200, 220 attack at level 50. And so, I go and bust up Volcarona. Sadly, I also get burned. And so, it's a one-for-one one right now. And so, I take down one of his key threats on his team. So, I was very happy. Sadly, I also lost one of the main Pokemon who could have won me this battle very quickly unless it's scissor or new bullet punch of course but yeah I go and switch out to Zendaya um, named after the girl from shake it up and yeah she is one of the main Pokemon I brought out because I knew she could do some six damage against um, bug types as well so I go ahead and switch to needy king and sadly this thing knows knockoff which quickly gets rid of my life orb and I'm like oh uh oh and so I should have really used like sludge wave or something predicting the switch um, oh wait, no, I shouldn't use Sludge Wave. I think, yeah, I used Earth Power here. And so, I was because of that Life Orb, it's not going to do nearly as much. So I'm trying to use another Earth Power. Go ahead and use another Earth Power and do some good damage. Sadly, it has a Citrus Berry. It's a very bulky Scizor. And it's not an attacking Scizor. It knows Agility. I'm like, okay, I know Scyther gets Agility. I think Scizor does. I forgot they can get Baton Pass. I didn't even know they could get Baton Pass, actually. Probably from Scolopede. But yeah, and he switches out to his Pinsir. Obviously, I go for another um, Earth Power, which sadly isn't going to do anything to Pinsir. And it's definitely not about to do anything to Pinsir because it's a Mega Pinsir. And with two speed boosts, this thing is just fast. And that thing is nightmare fuel. It looks awesome, but oh my goodness, that thing's scary. So yeah, it goes ahead and uses Earthquake and utterly destroys Needy King because that is how Mega Pinsir do. And yeah, sadly, Baragon goes down. He's a, he's a great Pokemon. He has got me a lot of wins and stuff. All right, here comes Mandy the Mandibuzz. I know I can't do anything, but look, that's a return on a Mandibuzz. Of course, no, I don't have anything. I don't have Toxic. I don't have anything like that to do anything to Pinsir. And so... I really shouldn't have sent her out. I should have saved her later in the battle. That might have got me the win. May may have. Sadly, she does go down to the second return. So I only get one knockoff off. And so I send up the Incubator. 
And so I'm thinking, it's going to take a miracle for me to survive return. Actually, it doesn't. It does about half. And so I go and absolutely counter it. And yeah, I was like, yes. I was so happy when that happened. I was just, I was happy. I was very happy. So he sends out to his Acelgor. It's um spike set up. It's not really an attacker, which is actually a good thing. Um, because Selgor is very good at setting up quick hazards. I think it can learn Toxic Spikes too. But yeah, it learns one very good move that you're about to see soon. And it learns Encore as well. I don't know if it's through breeding or naturally. But that goes to use Encore, so I'm like, thank you for that. But now I'm stuck using Softboiled, which isn't really a bad thing. And if I had stuck with Softboiled this next turn, I would have had one more Pokemon that could have really got me a win later in the match. And I was expect I thought this thing probably knew Final Gambit. And I probably should have kept her in. Sadly, I know they have max HP of 184 or so. And knowing that I'd have way less than that, I'd get KO'd. And so I lose one of the Pokemon that could have won me this battle in like one fell swoop. So if I had not switched, I may have won this battle. That was one key thing. Prediction is always key to a battle, win or loss. Um, so I get hit by, hurt by the spikes. I use a rock slide. Hoping to get some good damage off. It does half. I wasn't expecting it to do a whole lot. Because, I mean, regardless, even if I have um, Sheer Force, I'm not, I don't get stabbed. But Sailor knocks off my Choice Scarf. I'm faster regardless, and I try and use U-Turn, hoping to switch out. I forgot about the spikes. That comes to bite me in the battle later. But, yeah, I try and U-Turn. If I had used a Fire Punch, or even, like, Super Power or something, I may have done better at this battle. But, yeah, I switch out to Incubator again. Get hurt by the spikes. I use Soft Boiled. I'm actually faster than it. I was shocked. I wish I had used counter. I was expecting like an X Scissor or an Earthquake or a Rock Slide or something. But if I had used counter, I may have been able to knock off, knock out Armaldo. And yet another Pokemon knocked out. So he switches out to his Scizor, which as you know is not an attacker Scizor. And I can't poison it because it's a Steel type. So it starts just setting up on me. Too bad this thing doesn't have Flamethrower, but I don't want to switch the moveset now because I got it set to what I want. Um, so he's just sitting there setting up. I'm just set up bait right now. And so this is really where the tide of the battle turns in his favor. Well, it started with, um, his Aselgore using Final Gambit. But this is where it really comes to a head. So he goes and uses Baton Pass. I'm really expecting him to Baton Pass out to Armaldo. Surprisingly, the only Pokemon that hasn't premiered yet is Venomoth. He actually switches out to that. And it's not just any Venomoth, it's a shiny Venomoth. And that is cool. And so yeah, it's also set up, so it just goes and starts using Quiver Dance. At this point, I have no hope, so I, I, I can't even use Toxic. And also has Wonder Skin, obviously, because that missed. So I switch out to Chansey, thinking Darmanitan can do something, but I also forgot the spikes were up. Ergo, I lose my only hope of winning. And so Zendaya goes down. Yeah, and he just sets up another Quiver Dance with his Venomoth. Um, Venomoth has some potential. It really does. Um, Quiver Dance with, um, Sleep Powder. Not as good as, say, Vivian with Hurricane, especially. Alright, and it just keeps using Quiver Dance. And I can't do anything at this point. Except just hope that I just, I just keep getting HP. And I just, I knew what was coming. And so there was honestly no way I could have won against a Scizor of Venomoth. And an Armaldo, so I just end up forfeiting. And y'all know how I am about forfeiting. I don't like it, but, I mean, I couldn't win, so either way, I would have lost. So I went ahead and just quit the battle without stalling out. So yeah, Matthias stomped me again. Not totally stomped. He still had, um, I got a couple of Pokemon knocked out. That's key. But, um, yeah, it was a great battle, Matthias. Thanks for battling me again, man. It was awesome to battle you, and I'm thrilled to see how far you've come. Um, you were awesome last time, but you got even more awesome this time. And so, it was awesome to battle him again. It was great to battle a buddy of mine. I haven't been able to talk to too much because I've been busy on here on YouTube. Haven't really gotten on DeviantArt that much, but trying to get back on there and talk to my buds again. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, like I said in my last video, hopefully get some more battle videos up, get some more strategy videos up. Um, it's best of 17 Chris Jenkins coming up soon, hopefully, after Smash Brothers comes out. But yeah, like I said, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time with another video. Later, guys.